While we're talking about Twitter, a day after his general animacy that uh, uh, Elon Musk um, announced, where he let back all sorts of horrible right-wingers on to Twitter, people who have lied, impersonated, uh, attacked uh, trans people, attacked gay people, been racist, been anti-Semitic, homophobic, um, on and on, whatever, uh, you know, people, as long as no one was prosecuted for anything or awarded anything in an anti-defamation suit, he let them on. And then he began to essentially uh, get rid of and suspend other accounts, like Chad Loader got uh, suspended. Um, there's a, and this is after he spoke to that Andy No guy, mm -hmm. uh, that right-wing uh, reporter, um, and there's apparently a list of 5,000 people who are Antifa, um, hey Matt. Matt, Emma on the list. Yeah, no. I am not. I the FBI was. I on thought, the list, yeah. yeah, I mean, right, exactly. It's a stupid list. It's pretty I, dumb. I but. am uh, not on that list um, because of Peacock. Uh, because of Peacock no. and protected. <laughs> um, but here is uh, Elon Musk as to why he won't let Alex Jones on. He's trying to justify it, right? Uh, and Kim.com is saying, let Alex come back on. He apologized. Can I just read this? Alex fucked, this is what Kim.com says. Alex fucked up with Sandy Hook. He admitted that and apologized. He also got a lot of, quote, conspiracy theories right. And this is where, I, sorry, Kim, you're a fucking dumb guy. Like this thing where Alex Jones got conspiracies right he's not doing reporting on it also can you like name those conspiracies he got right and how exactly the nsa and the fba are those FBI exist are bad. Like, they're yeah, bad they're right. bad they're bad exactly. they're spying on you and, and they're spying on you so many people do this but uh yeah if serial liars like and they have a weather machine <laughs> <laughs> all right so i got fat i got almost 75 percent of it right uh, if serial lies like Biden and Trump are allowed on Twitter, then Alex Jones should be allowed to please reconsider in the interest of real free speech. Uh, it's just it, uh, the, what they are saying that he got right is that the vaccines are not protecting from COVID because now people that's are not getting right. COVID. That's also with not, that's I know false. exactly. But that, but that's like the their example. Um, well, so, I said the FBI and the CIA were um, doing bad things, doing bad things. I know. Also, I said that against they, conservatives, <laughs> they drank the blood of, of, of Christian children at a, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, surrounded by uh, um, uh, an owl and um, they, they all ejaculated onto an owl. That's all right. OK, I got that part wrong, but uh, everything else I got right. So here's Elon Musk um, trying to establish his bona fides. It's some marketing. And it's marketing. Understand, like, he wants to be able to justify bringing these people on. He has to figure out a way of not bringing on Alex Jones because bringing on Alex Jones doesn't give him what he wants, which is, like, the right-wing cred, right? And so he's got to come up with, a an, like, an extra special reason, an extra special reason why Alex Jones is wrong. And he writes, and this is sad. I'm sure if uh, Elon Musk um, was capable of feeling emotion for other people. I'm sure you would feel sad about this. Uh, my firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I, I can only imagine what that would be like um, to, to have my child die in my arms and, and, and literally feel the last heartbeat would be Devastating. Maybe the worst you thing a human never, can experience. Is, oh, <laughs> without a doubt. And, and, and I would never forget it. And he says, I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics, or fame. Now, of course, he didn't. That's not what Alex Jones did. He completely denied it. And in fact, um, that's his way of also opening the door for anybody who, like, in any way um, politicizes the shooting deaths of people like I understand that's also a warning to anybody who's like oh uh uh you know 32 p kids get shot in, in you know like in a, in a mass murder in a mall don't talk about politics don't talk about like whether we should have gun control but uh be that as it may he has a real reason it's because his first uh child died in his arms and then his former wife hmm. justine musk uh, writes a SIDS related incident that put him on life support. He was declared brain dead. And not that it matters to anyone except me, because it's one of the most sacred and defining moments of my life. 
but I was the one who was holding him. Jesus. And I guess, you know, like, the thing that is, and it's possible Elon Musk, you know, misremembered. Um, but it's also more likely that this guy is uh, so pathological mm -hmm. that he is, in fact, weaponizing the death of his own child for gain. I can't imagine what his reaction to Justine saying that was. Like, oh, yeah. Like, how dare you contradict me on such something like that? Like, I, What's I, a follow-up on that? Nobody's replying to It doesn't her. seem like... But, um, I, I don't know. The, if you want to be scared, yeah, we don't need it. If you want to be scared by Elon Musk, th that would be the scariest thing. I like his like, like ability to use anything. And his relationship with his children, too. Like, I mean, th there is, like, this and what, armchair diagnosis. He's narcissistic in terms of some of his behaviors, but, like... He has been vocal about being pro-natalist, which is that he feels like he, it's his duty to populate the earth with his DNA because he is a billionaire and wealth equals intelligence. And it's like a step away from like a eugenics mindset. And so like he uses children and his children as extensions of himself in his pretty disturbing political ideology regularly, regularly. And what he's doing there is he's trying to shield um, himself from kind of blowback from uh, right wingers by like pretending that that's the case. Oh, that's exactly because what he's doing. he what he, he's in an un untenable position right now. He can't give them what they want because we already see how many advertisers are leaving Twitter in droves. Can you imagine if they, he let Alex Jones back on? It's it would be a financial disaster for him. It's fascinating too because he could have he could have said like my my uh, I, I lost my firstborn child, mm -hmm. and yes. he could say I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, or politics, or fame. He he could have that could have been the tweet, but he he knew he had to really really sell it, yep. and so he added the that that the child died in his arms, and he added that he felt his last heartbeat because he is just a marketer. And even if it, you know, even if it in some way besmirches the sanctity in which he, he, he maintains that moment when the child passed, he, he's going to do it because it has value to him. This, uh, this uh, text was um, released in the Twitter versus Musk uh, docket, and it doesn't identify who sent this to Elon, but it says uh, this. Congratulations, the uh, what? Uh, and we should say that docket was from the uh, the lawsuit, right? The yep. uh, to buy Twitter. Um, congratulations, the above article was, and some people are saying because this this sort of stuff was getting released, that's why he's just like, okay, I'll buy it because he didn't want more of this. But congratulations, the above article was laying out some of the things that might happen. Step one: blame the platform for its users. Step two: coordinate pressure campaigns. Step three: exodus of the blue checks. Step four: deplatforming. But it will not be easy. It will be a war. Let the battle begin. It will be a delicate game of letting right-wingers back on Twitter and how to navigate that, especially the boss himself, if you're up for that, Trump, obviously. I would also lay out the standards early, uh, but have someone who has a savvy cultural political view to be VP of actual enforcement, a Blake Masters type. Then mm. Blake is free, so... Mm. I would also suggest that if anyone hasn't read it to read uh, Justine Musk's piece that she wrote for Marie Claire about this very time in her life when she was married to Elon Musk. Oh, this was this was from a few years ago. Um, she claimed that after the baby died, um, she was incredibly traumatized and wanted to go to therapy for it and, and would also obviously convene with her husband about it. And apparently he told her that any emotional expression from her was her emotionally manipulating him. <laughs> 